OK, Lee, so Star Sixes starts tomorrow, but we've got the golf day today. Looking forward to it? Yeah, I am. I'm a bit of a golfer. I enjoy my golf, so um, not bad weather. I think I've got the, uh, the weather forecast wrong, got the shorts on today. But no, it's nice. It seems pretty chilled out. It's a good way to start the event, really. And of course, Star Sixes, there's some fantastic names. How do you fancy, how, how are you looking forward to it? I, I really am. I, I mean, I've been searching through the names and, and seeing some, you know, I mean, we're coming up against some world class ex players. Um, seen a few today as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's going to be some, some special event, that's for sure. And, you know, to see the, the amount of quality that's going to be on show over the, you know, the next three, four days, it's, you know, it's going to be immense. England got a good chance? I think so, yeah. They've got some, we've got some fit lads. Stevie G's still fit. Uh, Rio's in great shape as well. Just think Danny Murphy's still fit. So um, I'd say I was, but I mean, looking at some of them, you know, I mean, Wes Brown's just, you know, literally just finished as well. So we've got, some, we've got a, good, a good squad of players that we can, you know, utilise well. And I think they've got a good foundation, really. Now, you tell me you've been away, you saw Joe Hart while you are there. Do you think he's going to find a club? Because he's obviously clearly still a top keeper, isn't he? Yeah, well, I was hoping he was linked with Villa, so I, um, I only found that out when I got back. Uh, otherwise, I would have asked him to see where he was going. But no, I, I, listen, he's still a fantastic keeper. And, and you know, he's, it, we all go through bad, bad sort of stages in our career where, you know, you form dips and, and, and you get, you know, scrutinised for certain things. But... You know, he, listen, he's, he's world class, and I'm sure that a Premier League club will take him. I, you know, when he was linked with Villa, uh, I thought, would he drop down to the Championships? I still think he's a Premier League player, to be honest. Um, you know, someone of his quality, I think he'll have no problem getting a club. But one player who has dropped down is John Terry. I mean, that must be very yeah. exciting for Villa fans. Fantastic, yeah, great signing for the club, really is. I think the last four years, Villa have, have really lacked uh, an experienced older head that can try and guide some of these youngsters that we've got at Villa and, and, and really, you know, single single a few people out. And, and, and I think JT's got that in him, knowing him. Um, you know, he, he, won't, uh, he won't hold back with certain things. And I think having him around with his experience of, of where he's been, you know, he's, he, he's, he's a role model to some of them boys. And I think it'll really, it's give, well, I know it has, it's give the club a massive lift. And, it, you know, hopefully we can attract a couple more bigger players. And... and, and Regain our, 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 our position back in that Premier League, where I think the club definitely belongs, because it's it's a fantastic, massive club, and you know that Championship's tough to get out. But I think you know what a fantastic signing's been. Because there hasn't been a lot of good news at Villa in the last few years. Has there? <laughs> How are the fans reacting to that? Do you think that's that's given them a shot in the arm to really get behind the team as well? Yeah, I think you know there's been a, there's been a lot go on over the last four seasons, and you know with the relegation coming and and, and the disappointment, you know the, the the club is starting to build. The foundation again, if you like, and um, they're trying to bring in the right sort of players, the right manager under Steve Bruce. Um, you know, he's, he's got his format where he wants to take the club, um, and he said that last season. Um, and I think we ain't going to be far away this season, whether or not we, we get promotion this year. I mean, I know there'll be favourites, you know, is a different thing, but I think that the building process of, 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 of sorting the foundations out around the place is so important. I really do because. The club really has gone from there to there, really, in a, in a matter of seasons. And um, I just think if they can get that sorted out, the, the club will be back in the Premier League and, and it will be where it should be, really. And that will be hopefully fighting to get into to Europe again. And, and finally, Wayne Rooney, a player you know, you played alongside, you played against him over the years. He's moved back to Everton. Can that really sort of re rejuvenate his career? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good move for him to go back to you know a club where he, he started out and you know when he burst on the scene at Everton at, at such a young lad, um, you know the Evertonians love him there. That's for sure. And I think Everton are, 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 have been you know so close at times of, of really pushing and, and, and competing. And I think they will this season. I think they've got some fantastic players there themselves. Some good youngsters coming through. Um, and, and I think you know Wayne again will be a special signing for Everton to go back. Will he, will he have to prove a point? Possibly because you know he, he's going back to his, his old stomping ground, and, and I think they'll, they'll, well, they'll love him there because listen, he's still world class as well. Thanks, Lee. Thank you very much. Enjoy your goal. Thank you. Cheers.